Thank you for choosing UCLA for your thoracic surgery. I'm Dr. Jay Lee, Chief of the Division of Thoracic Surgery. This preoperative video on instructions surrounding your surgery will provide invaluable information about what to expect before and after your operation. During your visit, you will meet individuals committed to the highest quality thoracic surgical care. We look forward to taking care of you. Because each patient is unique, your doctor or nurse practitioner will discuss with you preoperative instructions that are specific to you and your surgery. If you are on blood thinners such as aspirin, Plavix, or Coumadin, discuss with your doctor whether you should continue or stop the medication before surgery. We will tell you when it's safe to restart. If you smoke, it is important to quit before your surgery. This will decrease your risk of complications. The day before your scheduled surgery, call the hospital between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. to confirm your arrival time. Call 310-319-2219. Do not eat or drink anything after midnight on the night before you come to the hospital. Please leave your valuables at home, but do bring your medical insurance card, medication insurance card, and ID. You'll also need a way to pay for your prescriptions when you are being discharged. Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center is located at 757 Westwood Plaza at the entrance to the UCLA campus. From Wilshire Boulevard, go north on Westwood Boulevard. After you pass LeConte Avenue, you'll see the UCLA Medical Plaza on your left-hand side. Keep going, and the next building on your left is Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. Pull up to the valet as this is your only parking option. Enter through the main doors and head straight down the hallway. After you pass the dining commons, you'll see Maddie's room on your left. Just next to it is the admissions office where you will check in. You'll be provided a copy of your advanced directive or can fill a new one out. You will then be directed to the second floor where you'll be greeted at the Procedure Treatment Unit or PTU. Please, only one person can accompany you to the second floor. All others may wait in Maddie's room or at the Dining Commons. For most surgeries, you will get an epidural pain catheter pre-surgery to help you with pain following your surgery. You will meet the acute pain service who will oversee your pain control during your stay. After surgery, you will be taken to a surgical floor that specializes in post-operative care. You may go to 7ICU, the Thoracic Intensive Care Unit, for close monitoring. There are no limitations to visiting hours in the ICU. All other patients go to a room in 7 West. These are private rooms with unlimited visiting hours. You will have a dedicated team working around the clock to see to your care. Members of this team consist of nurses, care partners, respiratory therapists, physical therapists, case managers, social workers, and more. If you're unfamiliar with anyone entering your room, don't hesitate to ask them what role they play in your care. After surgery, you will have chest tubes to collect air and fluid. Sometimes, these will be attached to the wall to provide suction. Your nurse will let you know when you can be disconnected from the wall to walk around. You will also have a urinary catheter that will come out approximately two days after surgery. Please tell your doctor if you have had prostate issues or urinary retention in the past. We have several methods of pain management for your comfort. Your doctor will choose the most appropriate method for you. You may have an epidural catheter placed in your spine that delivers continuous pain medication. The catheter is similar to those used during childbirth. You'll be given a button that you can press to dispense the medication as needed. The epidural catheter decreases incision pain, but you may still have pain in the shoulder as the epidural medication is unable to travel that high on your body. If you have shoulder pain, discuss with your nurse about receiving additional pain medication through your IV. Another pain management method is patient-controlled analgesia, or PCA. 
Pain medication goes through your IV and you will be able to control the amount you need. As you get closer to going home, we will transition you to oral pain medication. In general, you will need pain medication up to every three to four hours. Please tell your nurse when you start having pain. The day following your surgery, your care partner or nurse will help you walk until you are steady enough to walk on your own. Please keep in mind that you will be walking with chest tubes or drains. If you need additional assistance, we have physical therapists and occupational therapists available to help. Please make sure to always use your call light for assistance so that you don't fall. You will use an incentive spirometer 10 times per hour while you are awake. This is a plastic handheld breathing device that helps you practice your deep breaths. Every four hours while awake, you'll have chest PT. Either your nurse or care partner will use soft rubber clappers to rhythmically clap on your back. This exercise helps loosen up secretions. Coughing and deep breathing are both very important following chest surgery. If you have had lung surgery, we will usually start you on a liquid diet the night after surgery, such as juice and jello. We will advance your diet to regular food as you feel ready. Because pain medication can cause constipation, we provide you with stool softeners and laxatives on the first day after surgery. Please let your nurse know if you have trouble with bowel movements or have loose stools. You may need to go home with a small chest tube to drain air or fluid from your chest. If you are fitted with a pneumostat valve, you will also need to empty this valve daily. Before you empty a pneumostat valve, always wash your hands. You will want to wear gloves. Clean the drainage collector with an alcohol swab. Attach a 10 or 20 milliliter syringe and gently pull back to withdraw fluid. Withdraw the fluid until empty this might be done once daily or multiple times per day. Record the amount from each collection in order to keep track of the total volume over each 24-hour period. Finally, flush the drainage down the toilet and wash your hands. If you are fitted with a Heimlich valve, you will need to empty it daily and record the amount. Before you leave, we will make a hole in this bag to vent air. Please do not cover up these holes when you leave. Make sure the blue Heimlich valve stays connected to the drainage bag or it may leak fluid. Unclamp the tubing to allow drainage to flow. Empty the fluid and record the amount drained in a 24-hour period. Reclamp the tube when done. Finally, flush drainage down the toilet and wash your hands. As you prepare for discharge home, your surgical team will let you know an estimated day of discharge. It is important that whoever will be helping you at home be available to come to the hospital before you are discharged home so the nurse can review instructions with them. Removal of your chest tubes will depend on the type of surgery and how you are healing. When they are removed, we will place a secure dressing that should be kept on for 48 hours. Sometimes drainage will leak through the dressing if that happens, reinforce the dressing with gauze and tape, but do not remove the original dressing for 48 hours. If you require additional supplies, such as a walker, we will provide it. A case manager will be in contact with you, your family, and your surgical team during the hospital stay to help plan for your discharge. For any new prescriptions, UCLA offers a service that will deliver medications right to your room, either the day before discharge or the morning you go home. Some of the pain medications that we prescribe are not available at outside pharmacies, so it is important to obtain these medications at UCLA and pay for them before you leave. Your nurse will review all discharge instructions with you and your family. Discharge time is before 11 a.m. Please be sure to arrange for a ride home in advance. You should plan to have a follow-up visit in one to two weeks for most surgeries. If you have a drain of any kind, please make sure to make an appointment within one week of discharge. If you experience the following symptoms after discharge, please report them immediately. Severe, persistent pain not relieved by medication and rest. Difficulty obtaining medications. Any new onset of or increased weakness, numbness, or tingling. 
persistent chills, new onset of fever over 101 degrees Fahrenheit, or night sweats. Any redness, swelling, drainage, heat, or pain around your incision. Any new onset of chest pain or shortness of breath. Any clogging or dislodgement of your surgical drain. You can call your nurse practitioner between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. or use the paging system 24 hours a day for emergencies. After you're discharged from the hospital, you will continue your recovery process at home. It's important to have a support system in place so you're not alone in the recovery process. Arrange for transportation for hospital and doctor's visits. It's also helpful to have someone assist you at home as you are recovering. Organize this support system early to ensure a smooth transition home. Should you need extra assistance in addition to family and friends, we have home health agencies available to provide nursing care and or physical therapy. Empty and record the pneumostat just as you were instructed to do so in the hospital. We will provide you with an extra pneumostat should it get clogged. If that occurs, please go to your local ER to have a clinician replace the valve. Caring for loved ones after their surgery is hard work. If you are a caregiver, remember that you will need support during this time too. Don't be afraid to reach out to friends and family for help. We hope that this video has been helpful to you. We understand that this must be an emotional and challenging time in your life, but be assured that at UCLA, you're under the care of one of the leading institutions in the world. Thank you.